Good morning and welcome back to my channel and part three of the Skyship build and as you can see I have been working quite diligently on the uh, on the build and added quite a bit more and I am really now beginning to feel quite happy with the uh, result. It's uh, taken on a lot more as I said before on part two of an industrial fill and uh, added a lot more greeblers mainly nerf gun parts but uh yes i'm beginning to feel now that this place is that this ship is is, is going places uh literally going places what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add uh, a coat of primer just to see where i am with it and uh, this is going to be a gray primer uh, purely because i have run out of <laughs> rust colored primer uh, but i'm, I'm going to put some gray primer on it uh, to see where i am and to see what the thing looks like but i think it's going to gel quite nicely as a whole and then i will continue adding green blades and stuff like that on it but uh yeah very very happy now with how the thing has turned out um the next uh, part of this little little uh, uh video will be uh, actually down outside because it's a lovely day so i'm going to add the primer outside and then you can see what it looks like from all angles in the sunshine okay here we go so just as I started uh, to spray it outside, it started to rain. So I put it back inside again and finished it off in here. And yes, it's a, a mixture of grey and uh, rust coloured primer because I did have a little bit left. But now the whole thing's begun to really pop properly and uh, very happy with, uh, with what it's looking like now. Um, it's coming along very nicely and it's got this kind of uh, trawler, futuristic kind of trawler shape to it and it's surprising it looks surprisingly like a ship i'm really happy with that i'm going to try and it's rather big so i'm going to try and maneuver it around so that you can see it from all angles um i'm gonna let me just there and i'm gonna sort of from the front it looks a, a kind of cross between a, a kind of old battleship and as i say this industrial kind of uh, uh industry uh whaling ship but the, um, yeah, it's uh, coming together. Obviously, I need to now build up all the greeblers on it. And um, this is just the preliminary sort of uh, um, uh, spraying of the primer. But, yeah, it's really beginning to pop now. And, goodness, this has been a struggle, as I've said before. It really was a struggle to get this thing, the, the shape, to, to actually work right. But, uh just turn it around a bit more but yes very happy now with 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 what it's looking like very happy and once it's been sprayed properly and um, i'm going to add uh, a, again a kind of really ancient color scheme on it as if it's been out in the clouds for centuries <laughs> well decades at least um yeah the uh, the overall shape will will come together nicely it's um i'll have a lot of of wires i think dangling down from the bottom like kind of um, chains and, 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 and anchors kind of thing. Uh, the um, And I'm trying to make it look logical so that uh, you know, people could actually live and work on it as well. So there you are from the back as well. And there, what it looks like. It's got a very nice profile now. It has, a, it's got a very nice profile. And um, yeah, so... At the end of uh, at the end of uh, coming up to the war, the the, the end of this this week, I've, I've I really think that I've achieved quite a bit. I want to go back to the uh, to the mech now and work on that. And I've found some extra parts for another particular model that I want to work on. But I'm very happy with the outcome of the work I've done so far on this particular build. So uh, onward and upward. Uh, we're now going to turn our attention to try and getting the mech in good order as well before the end of the week well in actual fact i didn't continue with the mech i continued with the skyship because i got caught up in it and i really wanted to bring the uh, major construction to a conclusion which i have um as you can see i have radically altered the back of it because i suddenly realized that well the engine at the back looked a bit too uh, titchy or flimsy to be powering such as a large vehicle. So I've altered, I took the, the engine off and as you can see, 
re re uh, re reconfigured it. Uh, so now the engine looks much bigger, and I've made and I've uh, put um, some more. Uh, some, what I think you call that a poop deck, don't you, at the front? So there's a kind of uh, yeah, a kind of uh, a ship-like structure at the front, which makes the whole thing again look a lot more now like some kind of um, steampunk um, uh, pirate ship or whaling ship. Uh, you can see that I've fabricated a uh, 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 this structure here, which is a kind of um, well industrial winch. Um, to give it a kind of um, a more uh, industrial feel, I put another um, mast at the back there, and now I'm much much happier with the thing. And uh, my goodness, it's been a, as I've said on numerous occasions, this has been a struggle, but I finally got there. I think I finally got there with the uh, with the skyship. I'm going to pause it now. There's uh, still a lot to do with it. I've still got to add lots of little greeblers to the engines. And so on but um, I finally got there I've also increased the stability of the stand and I'm gonna just turn it round so you can see the other side yeah I think the thing looks now a lot more that's the engine at the back a lot more industrial and uh, looking looking forward now to to greebling the thing completely and then adding my final washes but as I say I'm taking a pause from it now because I've done so much work on it in the past few days i want to give it a break i i don't want to over over it overdo it as they say i'm just going to turn it a bit more so you can see around the vehicle um yeah that's the problem isn't it overdoing it but uh there you are that's the uh the sky ship now and uh, i think that um I'm, I'm going to take my time on it because it's a it's a massive thing and i don't want to ruin it by uh, finishing it too quickly. I want to take my time and think about it. But um, really happy now with what it looks like. Really, really happy with what it looks like. And uh, yeah, I will be going back to the mech now. But I think as part three of the Skyship build con is concerned, that's it for part three. And I'm going to take a break. And uh, we'll continue this. Um, we'll continue this some other time. But I want to now go back to the mech, which will be the next video that I start to post. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching and uh, have a good week.